Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I do book things here. So today's video is a little bit unconventional for my channel. Um, as you can see, I'm in my jammies filming on an iPad. I still am unable to move. I am on bed rest. Uh, in my last video, I mentioned about pulling my neck and that was about three weeks ago. I have just not been too good. Um, I'm able to move my head a little bit, but not, you know, in intense. Also, I'm on painkillers, so that helps. Basically, you guys can see I'm like not straight. <laughs> um, basically, I pulled it on this side and I'm unable to support the weight of my arm without it shooting nerve pain down my arm. And today's the first day I've been able to get up off of my lazy boy. <laughs> and actually last night I was able to sleep in my bed again. So it, things are getting better, but not like great, you know? I'm hoping to improve over the next like two weeks, hopefully, and get back to work and whatever. So the point of this video is an update and to show you guys what I've been doing. Um, it sucks because um, I'm, a, I'm a hand talker. <laughs> and I can only talk with one hand right now, so if this hand is going crazy, that's why. Um, it's really hard for me to be uh, expressive when I can't move. Two things, um, do follow me on Twitter right now because um, my video content is not great because I can't really film and lift things, but uh, I have been shitposting on Twitter a lot. Also, I have been doing um, art lately. I decided once I realized that I was going to be on bed rest and I was going to be in like a tremendous amount of pain that I would treat myself. So I bought myself an iPad Pro and got an, uh, an Apple Pencil and Procreate and I'm making digital art. And that is what this video is going to talk about. Um, I decided to start drawing portraits. I need, for, for those of you who don't know, I did go to art school like 11 years ago, dropped out of art school, and even then my focus was photography. It was never really uh, portraiture or sculpture or painting. I did like painting and photography, but mostly um, painting surrealist, like, abstract stuff um, and, like, weird pop art. It was never really portraits, and I was not good at portraits, <laughs> and I was not good at drawing people. And so to challenge myself, I actually have been um, drawing booktubers. And that's the point of this video, I guess, is while I'm on bed rest, I have been painting booktubers. Even though I can't really use my arm, I can use my hand when it's not shooting pain. I started off with Lala, and that was like the first person I ever drew. And it's not that good. And since then, I've done about 10 of them, 9 or 10 of them. And uh, I'm going to show you guys them and show you guys, I guess, my progression of who I've painted. I'm going to um, put in some clips because Procreate will let you sort of speed things up. I'm still tracing over pictures and filling them in because um, I'll talk to you guys through my process because I am still learning how to use Procreate. I'm only like 10 pieces of art in, like I'm not an expert at this program. Um, I am tracing because I, trust me, if I were to just go and draw right from reference without tracing, uh, everyone would look like a fucking potato and no one wants that. <laughs> You know, I'm just doing it for fun. I'm doing it for practice. I'm not doing it to sell them or make money or anything like that. It's just practice. And I figure if I'm going to go on Pinterest and um, look up reference photos of people, why not just ask people to provide me reference photos and I'll, I'll paint some booktubers. And that's what I've been doing. And so this video is, I guess, showing you guys some of my art. Um, I might voice over some of them. If it sounds a little different, I'm probably filming in my basement. Leave everybody's booktube link down below. Um, I do have a thread on Twitter where people submit me their... It has to be high quality clear. And what I mean by clear is bright, basically. A high quality clear photo that I'm able to basically zoom in on uh, without it being too grainy. So that's what I mean by high quality. And I've been putting them all through randomizer basically and picking them. Um, there's like 130 as of right now people that I need to paint and each one of these takes about 
four to five hours. So um, none of, they're not all of them are going to get done anytime soon. But it's a good way for me to distract myself from pain. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. And it's been distracting me. And so um, if you follow me on Twitter and you've sort of participated in that, and if you've interacted with me on Twitter in the last two weeks, um, I'm going to get emotional, but thank you. I've been going through some pain and it's hard and it sucks. And there were times where, mm, there were times in this whole process that I was really friggin' scared uh, just about my own pain level. And my cat has scratched the shit out of me, so that's what that is, by the way. Um, I, I've been scared about it and, you know, going on Twitter and interacting with people made me feel like I'm still part of the community and it kind of took me out of my own head about a lot of things. just want to say a big thank you to everybody for that. Um, and without making this video too long and too crazy, uh, I'm going to show you guys some of my art because it's been the only thing that's like pushing me through lately. But yeah, when people talk about the booktube community, this is, this is what it is. It's supporting people even when they can't make videos or supporting people when you know that they're sad or upset or hurt. This is what the community is. I just want to say thank you. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to show you guys some art now. The painkillers are kicking in. I'm crying. <laughs> Look at how good Pepperoni is doing. Um, he's got like new leaves, he's doing great. Also, Syngonium Weaver is just popping off. So if you guys wanted a plant update. So on to the video, I'll show you guys some art. Hopefully you guys like it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Probably daily vlogging for contemporary -thon as best as I can. So um, forgive me. Okay, so Lala's was the first one I painted. And this is the first time I ever used Procreate. And there's definitely things I would have improved on. I wasn't sure what brushes to use and stuff like that. So I definitely want to paint her again because I don't think this one was very good. But oh well. Uh, then I did Chelsea, and as you can see, I struggled a bit with getting her hair right. <laughs> it wasn't the easiest. Also, I brightened up her pictures, and that's what I mean by I wanted bright pictures, because I find them just easier to paint, and the colors look better. Next up is Chandler. Now, Chandler's is the one where I feel like everything really clicked. I used different brushes and just loved the angle and the tones, and I realized that I really like drawing highlights and like nice kind of like sweaty skin. <laughs> that sounds bad, but I love this one. Then I drew Anne from Wibbly Wobbly Books, and oh man, drawing glasses is just hard. Also, I wish I would have done a better job on her hair, but uh, in the end I really liked how it turned out, and I really liked sort of almost like pastel tones. I quite like this one. Oh, next up we have Madeline. Now, Madeline's was my favorite tone in the picture. She had this like wonderful sort of like greeny tones, and it reflected really well in her glasses, and just what an absolute doll. I mean, look at her face. So cute. <laughs> Then we have Kaz from Little Book Owl and the purples. Oh man, the purples are great. Also, you can see if you go back a few seconds how absolutely creepy people look when they don't have eyeballs. <laughs> For some reason, it's like one of the last things I draw in and it's so creepy. But I absolutely loved how the purples turned out. Love it. Then I drew Kimberly from Kim Ann Reads and oh, just an absolute joy. Like the smile and eyes and I really took time to do her hair properly because it's something I've never drawn before and um, I think it turned out really really well and I'm pretty proud of this one. I think she's beautiful. And then we have Ishi from Ishi Time which is another channel that was new to me and again it's just drawing unique angles and like really nice highlighted skin I'm realizing is one of my favorite things to paint. Um, I did cheat and I did not draw that flower crown. I definitely pasted that in because no. And then lastly, I have Ali from Ali Corver. And again, you get to see how creepy people look when they don't have eyeballs. My bad. It's always the last thing I try. And, um, and man, she looks so much like a coworker I had. So it was almost easy to draw this because she looks almost identical to an old coworker of mine. Um, but I just love this one. It's beautiful.
yeah, those are the booktubers that I painted, drawn, and procreate, and I do hope you guys like looking at it. Um, it's just fun for me and something to practice on. If you guys are a booktuber and you have a channel um, and you want to be sort of, I guess, entered in for me to do this, um, there is that Twitter thread. It's pinned on my Twitter where you guys can go leave me a clear, high quality picture and um, I randomize them and I pick one and I paint it. So um, yeah, you guys can go check that out if you want. So yeah, I hope everyone is doing good and until my next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Ooh, pretend that there's sound at the end of this because I'm editing on an iPad. Ooh, goodbye.